Welcome back everybody. Good morning to you guys from beautiful Missoula, Montana. My alarm just rang, but broker woke me up an hour before it was due to pick up just because they felt like they needed to chit chat with me in the morning and find out where I'm at. And uh, because they think that, you know, maybe I was on site or trying to check on the status, blah, blah, blah. Well, Macro Point marked me in, but I just went to a truck stop down the road. I was sleeping here. It's the end of July, and nights are nice and crispy here. 62 degrees. So in the summertime, tell me which states that you live in, the nights are 62 degrees. Not many. Maybe some parts of Oregon, maybe some parts of Washington State, where I'm at. And then here, but then, you know, you get into... You get into the southern states and it ain't like this so it's nice and crispy to sleep still using a blanket and all that which is really nice that you don't have to run any kind of AC so picking up something two pallets here today and it's going to some executives house of theirs some maybe an account holder or XPO guy maybe uh, anyways some some kind of a big deal load the yesterday one of the brokers called me and then this morning they had to call me and re-explain everything that you know I need to be professional and I need to do this and that make sure and lots of things so I'm gonna go this guy last night I was here this dude has been flying around all over the place I don't know if they're on drugs or what what they're doing but in that large straight truck When I got here, I was sitting here. That's how he was just driving around all over the place. So, and now I'm up, now I'm up, and he's still making circles around. I don't get it. Same same truck. Let's go see what we're picking up. What the big deal is all about? Goes to Whitefish, Montana, which I don't even know how many miles that is from here probably like maybe 150 ish 140 somewhere around there is my guess I don't even I don't even know it pays a round trip though from home to here to delivery and back home let's go see what we're picking up one down one more to go That's piece number two. No, I just need to get in and uh, strap these in real quick and be on my way. Let's see. They said it's like 500 pounds. I'm moving 500 pounds just with one hand. It's not 500 pounds. I love it how the freight companies like to uh, overcharge the weight maybe so they can make money or I don't know why they do that but anyways well at least the broker told me it was 500 something pounds so it definitely isn't all right two straps e-track as usual easiest way to strap anything and then we're on the way I'll tell you guys how far away and what my ETA is and all the good stuff so Two pallets fit before my bed. I just moved it just so it's easier to uh, strap it in. Otherwise, I'd kind of be sort of under it and it's in the way. So, but besides that, I can hold two pallets no problem, and have this big old bed and still a foot of room here until my seats sitting right here. So, you know, kind of calculated it right, built it right, everything's done right. Got to do it with common sense guys because uh, a lot of you are 
watching buying the wrong vans buying dually vans buying short vans buying vans that you know are not practical for expediting and then you don't know what to do with them because you can't you know what i mean you can't take it back to the dealer just to exchange it it's not like walmart or you know it's not like costco you could just go back and exchange or refund so be smart about what you're doing do your research speak to somebody if you need to if you don't know yourself but you know it's all common sense you gotta buy the biggest van that way you have room for a bed you can outfit it and everything everything else so I gotta get to strapping you guys can get to researching if you need to and Google says it's a two hour and 42 minute drive there it is I don't know what you can see or not anyways on the way strapped it down everything looking good easy pickup glad it was here because I've showed up in places like this before and then all of a sudden it's not here they can't find it who are you you get some of those kind of questions some of those kind of answers so let's see I don't know why I was given a dirt road to, to use but there's definitely a better route in definitely a better line, route to use US Highway 10 West. and hey if you guys don't have a mobile printer I guess we missed yesterday that we were supposed to have a, a certain kind of bill of lading by the way brokers bill of lading doesn't say anything about hand unload and blah 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 and lift gate required and they never said anything about that and I even asked them yesterday well since it's a residence you know does it require are they gonna have a lift gate blah blah, blah. or I mean uh, not a lift gate but are they gonna need are they gonna have a forklift or are they do they have means of unloading and they're like oh yes 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 yeah they're they're, they're gonna have it I'm like okay so XPO where I picked up their paperwork says you need a lift gate and inside delivery but <laughs> Broker's bill of lading that they gave me to print. Broadway Street, US Highway 93 North. They gave me something to print, a bill of lading. And that one doesn't have any of that on there. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going when I get there. If they do, they they do. If they don't, then I'm gonna be requesting more money for unloading. So at the light, turn left onto West Broadway. And they're just gonna have to pay it because you know they've seen the bill of lading, they know what what's going on, they should have figured all they should have figured all that out especially knowing that it's going to a residence that's like somebody has to double triple quadruple make sure that there's a way to unload or at least figure out from the driver if he's even able to hand unload before even sending him there but here you know I guess it's just you know all about making money and quick money and just hurry up and get the load and go which you know I'm okay with that we'll get it done but what if I was, you know, what if I'm on a disability? What if I'm a disabled driver that cannot do any hand unloading? What if? Then what? Then it's a problem that they're gonna have. So, one of those kind of problems that you need to avoid by doing it right, in my opinion, but hey, this is USA, people do whatever they want, and, uh, and you can't do whatever you want because if you do something wrong that somebody's offended by, then you know you're <laughs> you're gonna be somehow sorry for it in a way. In our business, that's how it works. So we'll just get it done. We'll request some money, some extra money, which is okay. And happy customer, happy driver, happy broker in the end. Look at this. It's a beautiful drive over there. Highway 93. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I was going to shoot the drone up in the air.
got to fill up somewhere along the way, and then I got uh, 1117 as my ETA, and I'm supposed to be there uh, between 12, like noon and 1 is what my GPS says. GPS slash Google Maps, that's what it is. Pretty much it's an Android system. If you guys need one of these, I did do a video not too long ago. Look it up in my playlist. There's a link for, for that site. I think it was like 200 bucks is what the price was. You can even get it straight from Amazon. And it'll just mirror everything you got on your phone, your apps and all that kind of stuff. All except for like, you know, uh, what do you call them? Like movie apps. You can't watch anything through there. Which is unsafe. unsafe cool area out here going around Flathead Lake showed you guys from up above that's just one little corner of it but here's a little more pretty drive nice and windy all around the lake my kind of style let me know comment comment in the comment section if you guys like that or not me I like uh, nice windy roads. Things don't get as boring. Look at that. Look at that. One of the cleanest lakes in Montana as far as its size. Look at these nice people just building something nice, simple, and right on the water with the views. down below over there see if I can look in the water oh yeah I can see where, where there's sun beaming over there I can see in the water nice and clear I've swam here before too if you guys haven't yet come to Montana go deliver something to Kalispell or really <clears throat> kind of anything in this area Polson or whatever come deliver and come swim in this lake I welcome you, even though I'm just, you know, two states over still. <laughs> do stop on the side of the road here and swim too so um, there, there's a pool, couple of pull off areas oh what was that in the water some kind of sign I mean the water is clean if I if I throw a drone up in the air out here you guys would see how clear it is and you can see who knows where okay here's I think here's one of the turnoffs but it's got a people dock on here too I think let's go look I got a minute Let's go look together. Look at this. Look at this. Specially made for the people. Let's go look inside. I said inside, it's not really inside, it's outside. So you can go that way, which I don't know about that. But I do see a dock over here. I don't know if it's people's dock of somebody that lives over here. Usually that's how it works. Or maybe it's just uh, for the public to stop by and just actually go swim or take some photos or whatever. We've got a stream coming in. And I'm telling you guys, it's clean. You guys don't believe me? Look at this. I wonder how warm or how cold it is. Look how clean this is. And you can go out there for who knows where. Probably close to the middle of the lake and you'll be able to see the bottom that's how nice and clean the water is <clears throat> partly why because uh, it's rocks so not a whole lot of sand not a whole lot of clay but man look at that Woo -hoo -hoo. 
the best part of the job here. You get to go stop by, take a look, get out, stretch. I'm stretching here versus somewhere else. That flathead lake. Nights are 62 degrees it was last night. 62, so um, I want to feel how warm this water is out here. <clears throat> it's usually on the colder side because it's so huge, but you gotta feel it. Otherwise, you never know. And if you guys ever want some uh, flathead lake rocks like this, you let me know. I'll get you a handful and ship them to you. Of course, for a worthwhile price. Wouldn't do it for free. But yeah, I want to feel... Oh man, it's cold. I mean, it's cold, but it's not freezing cold. Look how clean and clear this is. It's insane. Incredible. I'd say it's like 65, 68 degrees maybe. Somewhere around there, because I know what I know what uh, 80 degree water feels like. I know what 75 degree water is. I was uh, in 75 degree water actually yesterday fishing, so and walking around, loading the boat in and out and all that. So I know what 75 feels like. This is like a 65, 68, which is also really nice for swimming. Wow, so clean, so clear. Should have brought that three. Actually, it is with me, isn't it not? The 360. I don't know if it is. <clears throat> the 360 camera can throw that underwater. <clears throat> this one can go underwater as well, but I don't ever take it. Because they have an open door over here, and I don't know where the door is for charging all the time. So, if I ever want to go inside the water with it, I really can't because... This thing's gonna go bye bye. Oh, got something in my shoe. Oh, come on. Normally wear flip flops, but I got my shoes on today. How beautiful is that? Wow. I don't know how much better it can get. Not talking about like uh, Bahamas or, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about like lakes like this in the States. All right, 5.5 miles left. These people live somewhere up in the mountains, maybe even up on the ski resort. I'm not sure exactly. I haven't. I've kind of delivered to a surrounding area before, but I don't think that up this mountain I have. So we'll see where it leads to. We'll see where it goes. I'll show you guys the details. We'll see what kind of forklift they're going to have on site to unload this stuff. So. We'll find out. Still, it's uh, 11.30 in the morning, almost noon, and it's only 71 degrees outside. So that, that, that's to give you guys an idea of what the weather is like today because in some places it's been, doesn't get, you know, below 80 at night and all that stuff. Here it gets pretty cold, and then in the daytime you can be in your 90s and they can have the 100 for a little bit too, so. The lake is somewhere right down there. I don't know, these guys might have some lake views. We will try to show you guys as much as possible on this. Man, oh man, these turns. Come on now, come on. 
because I like these kind of turns. When the tires are almost screeching. And of course, Montana is not Montana without summer road work where you get to either travel 35 miles an hour or just straight up stand until a pilot car comes along. I don't know how long we've been standing, but we've been standing and then another <coughs> I'm wondering where he's from. This dude's from California. The other one's from I don't know where. But he got all mad. He got out of his car, kinda looked around, slammed the door, and just started walking somewhere. I don't know where he's walking. Went to go check out what's going on or are they using the bathroom or I don't know what their deal is, but they're doing something over there. He wasn't too happy the way he slammed his door. <laughs> they must not be ever from around here because if if you live in Montana or drive through Montana, you know that this is a common, common thing. They either use these stupid lights, you can sit here for about half an hour or even longer, or they use the pilot cars, but yeah. That's how things are done with road work. Here he comes again. He's coming back. I don't think he took a leak anywhere or anything. But he's all mad looking. Like he wants to tear somebody up. Let's see how he's going to close the door now. Once he's getting in. Or he's trying to see if they could cut across through some woods or something. I don't know exactly what the heck he's trying to trying to do, but he's acting all tough over there. Well, we got this gentleman interested in what he's got to say or what he's pointing out now. So, movies to be continued. We'll see what they're trying. We'll see what their master plan is. I think they want to cut across through the woods here or something. Finally moving. I think we lost like 20 30 minutes. I don't know what it's been These guys are still here. Nobody went anywhere. I don't know what the what the grand plan of, of their thing was but yeah, I guess they just wanted to Show like they could do something <coughs> about it <coughs> Bless me <coughs> Thank you All they're doing is just putting in new rails and I don't know what else. That's it really new railing going in after winter time maybe I guess or maybe it just take, came time to come swap it out or whatever you see that that's old new or maybe people crash here often in the winter time I imagine all the skiers and everything there's a mountain up there I can see cut out for skiing or snowboarding whatever for sale 12 acre parcel if you guys want there you be up in whitefish hopefully there ain't not much more closures up here I see this railing got done too so they're kind of doing you know whatever side they want closing whatever lane they want hopefully no big delays though anymore they're already asking for my ETA. How do I know what my ETA is? <clears throat> we're moving, then we're stopping, then we're standing, now we're moving again and slowly, so who knows. Can't really provide one when we're not really traveling normal speeds and standing in traffic. Two miles away, six minutes it shows, but <clears throat> with the way this is driving, it might be longer. What do we got from up here? Oh yeah, we got some good looking views from this way. What, this person wants to get in on the action? Wants to turn- In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Elk Highlands Drive. Man, and these bozos just let people in like that? 
Let him keep standing like we stood. They can wait for half a mile worth of cars to come by. Take the next left onto Elk Highland Street. Actually, actually got some nice looking houses here. Look at that one. Look at this one. Look at the views. Look at that. Look at that new one being built. <clears throat> that must be an old cabin, but still cool looking. Here's a lift. Oh, okay. I see why that that cabin's there. There's a cabin. Look at that house. <laughs> Look at these lifts coming right through here. One ton. Wonder what 103 is. My truck number is 103. I think we missed that part. 122. Maybe they never had one. Look at that. Look at these homes. Look at that. And we're going up to some kind of owners of something. It's not an XPO owner or CEO like they told me yesterday over the phone. They don't even, this, this broker doesn't even know what they're talking about. They're an owner of something, but they're not, they're not an owner of no XPO or anything like that. <clears throat> they're some kind of an, an account, because they called me this morning. They're, they're an owner of some kind of an account that they, deal with whatever that means an account they have account of I don't know picking picking up from somewhere delivering to somewhere maybe whatever an account that they have with somebody but they're definitely not no not no owner of XPO or CEO of XPO none of that kind of stuff what is this guy doing Texas. Hmm, worldwide technologies. Digging around in the sewers. And yes, this place has sewers. Must be an expensive place to build a house in when you're looking to buy a lot here. Three more minutes and we're there. I wonder if this dude lives on top of the top of the very hill. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Orion Drive. No, this one's for sale if anybody wants it. Right there with the views of the hills. Take the second left onto Orion Drive. Somebody's driveway. Well, I guess the top of this mountain is where these guys are at. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Mm, it's probably that house that I just saw being built, a brand new one. And this guy's gonna be living on top of the world. Look at that. Hard to tell on camera what it is, but could see the rivers, could see the streams, <gasps> and the lake. This is gonna have some views. Something violators will be something. Well, let's keep going. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's gonna be on top of on top of the hill somewhere in the construction area. Not even this house, but look at that. Look at the views here. I'll definitely have to do a drone drone shot for you guys from up here. Some incredible views. 
No, it's not even this house that I thought. Okay. Maybe it's that one. Might be that one because there's something being built right there. And that's why these houses cost millions and millions of dollars. Okay. Let's, Your destination is on the right. Let's go find out where we're at. Looks like. Is that part of that? No, yes, I don't know. About to get unloaded with a big beast forklift. So <clears throat> we're going to set it on the ground with the guy and then he's going to take it off there. Or put it somewhere else, wherever it needs to go with something else. But this house here, that's an incredible piece of house. Not sure how many years it takes to build this house, but I'm sure it's a lot. Just the stonework, woodwork, incredible landscaping. Look at that, that's insane. Gotta go take a picture of where they put this freight. This broker's a little funny with that. So whoever this person is, they're building, or they built the house like right where the lift comes up to on one of the hills. So from here, you just, from his house pretty much, put your skis or snowboard on and just go down the mountain and ride your lift back up to the house. And your house is over there. How simple is that? <clears throat> All right, just waiting for a good to go from the broker. I wasn't able to take pictures actually because this guy's already put them up on the balcony up on the second floor. There's some, I thought it was molding or whatever, like crown molding for something, but they're not. They are cushions, like for like, I don't know, outdoor patio or, or indoor couch or I'm not sure, but some kind of cushions. And these cushions are paying 700 bucks for me to come pick him up from Missoula and bring him here 135 loaded miles but for me to get to Missoula was 200 then 135 and then from here it's like a five hour five and a half hour ride home still somewhere around there ish I'll see what it says when I put it into my GPS but yeah hopefully those cushions are worth it but hey if you got millions to build a home like this you've got millions you got enough money to pay for some cushions to get delivered to you asap good guys out here doing the work here's another millionaire or billionaire building something else here and then look at this house here with a tennis court i mean it's just i guess people got some money when they're when they're up here to build up here, to drive up here every day from who knows where, bring material here, all that stuff, all, everything costs incredible money. And there's so many houses here like that. It's just, this is just one little area. I mean, this, there's this whole ski resort here with, you know, all that stuff. So hurry up and put the birdie up in the air before I get in trouble. Show you guys from up above. Enjoy it enjoy it look at this look at these views this is just incredible let me, let me just walk across the street i mean nobody can get me in trouble now i'm out of the property I'm not filming on anybody's property or anything look at the views look the lake another lake streams i mean this is just crazy Crazy, crazy. Look at some of these neighbors' views. This guy's got views of everything. Better views than the other people had of the other side. Look at that. Crazy homes. And it seems like everybody's got that fake green grass that I've been delivering a lot of. A lot of people have tennis courts. Another, somebody else with a tennis court over there. This house here, that one's not done yet, but I'm sure they'll get it done. What I live here, I don't know. Not at that point yet. I think I need to do a, just maybe another, another couple months worth of deliveries, and then I can afford a place up here. So can you guys, right?
incredible views from up here. I guess I see why they want to live here. Maybe you guys too. This camera doesn't really do the justice. In a but quarter I hope, mile, turn right onto Elk Highlands Drive. But I hope you guys enjoyed from from the drone. That's awesome. That's just that's just awesome. Oh, let's see. Time to get off this mountain, go home. Four hours and 45 minute drive home. This is what that shows. Four hours and 45 minutes. It's nice and 71 up here. I don't know if it's just the cold front they got or whatever, but, or maybe that's just, you know, that's just how it is here for now. Or maybe that's the normal temperature here. I'm not sure. I don't live up here in the mountain. The right but the I've seen inside. it, you know, be warm before, so. Take a right. We're taking a right, right? Continue on Elk Highlands Drive for one and a half miles. Yeah, you gotta have money and good money to live up here. I think those are like heated, whatever you call it. Um, some people put like heated elements on their roof. That way it, it thaws out and doesn't really damage their roof. I've seen that happen on a lot of houses where they got kind of like cables and cables and whatnot on there. And it's just heated stuff. They turn it on in the winter time. That way they don't, you know, look at that. Even that's nice. I mean, I'd take that any day. I'd take a log cabin over these fancy houses too. I think it just up in the mountains. It just it's it's what you gotta have. It's just a the theme and what what is good. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't mind a fancy home, but paying all that money and this guy, I just spoke to the guy. He said that it took. I asked him, I'm like, hey, how long did it take? He's like, three years. It took three years to build this house, and there's supposed to be like landscaping supposed to be out of there by the end of this week, supposedly end of the week they're supposed to be gone and then the rest are finishing up and maybe be gone too I don't know how long all that takes but I'm sure maybe he'll be happy but that's probably not their uh, normal house that they live in all the time I'm sure it's just like a vacation home or whatever whenever they fly in and here we are again waiting for the traffic to come through the pilot cars taking the cars down the hill and i believe as soon as all the cars come through she should let us come down the hill too so hopefully it's not a big long wait just realistically i just got here like three minutes ago it hasn't been more than three minutes i've been standing here Yep. <laughs> bless me again. It's the bless me day. There we go. Go, go, go time. Go, go, go time. 4.41 p.m. is when I'll be home. Jeez, this was supposed to be a quick one, but... It's already one o'clock local slash 12 my time so i'll be home by five technically realistically by the time i fill up grab something to eat somewhere maybe stand around in traffic somewhere else oh and then montana yeah they've got the delays big del big delays and lane closures 35 miles an hour 55 45 Whew. lots of that anyway I got to my, basically I left last night late, got to Missoula at 2 a.m., broker called and woke, broker's dispatch, called and woke me up for no reason at 7 a.m. My pickup time was supposed to be scheduled for 8 a.m. I was at a truck stop sleeping close enough that MacroPoint already marked me in on site on its own, the, the tracking app. So they already knew that I'm supposedly on site. So. She was just calling for really no reason. Woke me up. I, 
I wanted to tell her. I wanted to ask. What, so what, what was your point of calling me? Why did you just wake me up? I was supposed to sleep another hour. I got here late last night. Do you want me to take a nap while I'm driving this way? You know, kind of wanted to ask some of those questions. Some people just, you know, I'm not a big complainer, but sometimes I just want, I want to say my piece. You know what I mean? So that way they know that they shouldn't be calling drivers before it's scheduled to pick up. If there's an issue, if it's 8 a.m., if it's 7.55, go ahead and call me. If it's 7.50, uh, think about waiting another five minutes and call me at 7.55 still when my pickup time is at 8. Or call call the driver after pickup time if you want to make sure that we're on site or whatever else, whatever else thing, what kind of instructions you want to tell us. We already, I already knew all the instructions. Everything was, you know, crystal clear to me how to how to do what and that this is you know whatever it is and be on my best behavior she said i'm like <laughs> yeah okay me on my best behavior today only right today only here's what these guys are doing they're putting bolts in screwing this in I think this work pays well, no? And this machine hammers these guys in, I think. Hammers this railing into the ground. Here's the old crap. New posts that they're putting in. I'm putting in new railing. It must be nice. Let's see how let's see how long the traffic is now. Oh they got this this is nothing. But yet again, the pilot just took all these guys up. And now we're coming down, so that's why there's no traffic yet. But the expected time to stand here is like 20 to 30 minutes. It just depends on how many cars it's taken through. How many people want to get on and off the mountain? And I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but I delivered patio cushions. Patio cushions. So my guess is some designer some designer offered it to this homeowner told him how cool and how modern it is and how unique it would be to have those and that hardly anybody maybe has them and maybe brad pitt has them or something like that uh or prince charles or something like that and that's the only people and he could be the, he could be the second one if he orders it from somewhere who knows god knows where maybe special order maybe maybe handmade or maybe hand stitched maybe the fabric comes straight from who knows where from some Persian per, from some Persians or somewhere around there I don't know I mean that's just that's just what goes through my mind when, when something like this happens then it was probably on back order somewhere and then it was probably shipped out and then it probably got lost or held up somewhere and now they're gonna be finishing up and probably having a party or whatever and then it needs to be here so and the big truck probably can't come here because you know a semi I mean some of those bigger you know cement trucks or whatever things come up there but maybe not a semi or maybe not a not like a 28 or 32 foot or whatever they whatever foot uh, little trailers they pull you know on those semi trucks because then he wouldn't have uh, any room or any way to really turn around up there so you know they had to they had to look for somebody like us to bring him there in a van from god knows where you know what i mean and that's why and that's why and that's why this homeowner is paying the big big bucks probably paid a fortune for these uh you know unique fancy cushions in the first place and then the logistics of getting them probably paid who knows maybe the same amount or, or whatever but I imagine a good fortune anyway just because I'm getting 700 for this so my guess some kind, of, some kind of house that looks like that looks like my babushka's house no my babushka didn't have a big house like that but the design of all that looks like the houses that are from like uh, the, the children's books of you know the 
all kinds of tails is what that looked like. Okay, where is it going to take me? It takes me left. Yeah, probably right. Yeah. I didn't even see what kind of route it actually provided me. I got my fishing pole with me. Maybe I'll stop by and go fishing, but I forgot my fishing box at home. That's in, kind of, that's in how much hurry I was in. Handed the fish to my dad yesterday because we went fishing with the kids and everybody on the boat. So on the way to this pickup, I stopped by, met with my father. He's here in town. So turn left onto East Lake Shore Drive. He's got the fish. And I had the fun, and then my kids had the fun, and they were already remembering, and my daughter was already talking about all that, all kinds of fishing and everything today on the phone. So yeah, they had a blast. The kids had a blast. It was my, it was the first time I took my two-year-old and a one-year-old on the boat fishing. So if you guys want to come out to Montana, come on out. The weather's great out here. You don't have to worry about, you know, falling asleep to hot weather or anything like that. Not gonna happen here. Nice and crispy. All you gotta do is leave your windows open if you can handle sleeping with open windows. Not everybody can in 60 degrees. But it's warming up. It's warming up a little bit. I got the AC on now. My vehicle shows 78, but I don't think that's really true. I don't think it's 78. It was just me slowly coming down the mountain and the fan was blowing. The fan was blowing all that. So I don't think it's 78, but maybe it'll warm up. We'll see. Missoula had some crazy windstorm of like, some, they said up to 105 miles an hour. So the whole town of Missoula, the city of Missoula, was out of power for like 24 hours or more. Because we went camping and my brother-in-law is from Missoula out here and he's, and his house was out of power and all that stuff. So basically it turned all the, ripped the trees out with the roots, tore down all the power lines all over the place. Uh, some trees fell in people's homes. And I don't know if it's, been fully 100% restored yet and it's been a week so that's what Missoula was dealing with never knew that some something 105 mile an hour some kind of crazy winds out of nowhere can come through and do that in Montana that's this is not tornado alley it's not hurricane country I'm not sure a little bit weird But Whitefish, very touristy place for a little tiny town. Lots of lots of people out here. I see lots of rich people walking around. You can tell by their shoes, by their makeup, by their clothes, by how they walk. You know, people with money. It's just when they walk, you hear you hear and you smell money, 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 money. If you guys want to hear and smell money, 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 come out to Whitefish in the summertime. Or maybe even in the winter, I don't know. Maybe they're all going skiing and all that kind of stuff too out here. But I know right now they're walking around and I smell money. 